we obtain a three-dimensional coordinate system. The three-dimensional coordinate system contains three coordinate axes that intersect at a common point, also called the origin. These include the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. For the most part, the x and y axis are horizontal lines, and the z-axis is a vertical line. Just like the previous coordinate systems, each axis contains positive values and negative values. On the x-axis, the positive values are located here, and the negative values are located on the opposite direction. On the y-axis, the positive values are located here, and the negative values in the opposite direction. And finally, on the z-axis, the positive values are located here, and negative values in the opposite direction. A way for you to remember where the direction of the z-axis is located is by using the right hand rule. If you curl the fingers of your right hand around the z-axis counterclockwise from the positive x-axis to the positive y-axis, then your thumb points towards the positive direction of the z-axis. In addition, the three coordinate axes also determine three coordinate planes. The xy plane is a plane that contains the x and y axis. The yz plane contains the y and z axis, and the xz plane contains the x and z axis. Together, the three coordinate planes divide space into eight regions called octants. This is analogous to the quadrants of a two-dimensional coordinate system. In this case, a three-dimensional coordinate system divides space into octants. The first octant is determined by the positive axis. If you're having a hard time visualizing this, just look at any bottom corner of a room. That's essentially a visual representation of the first octant. The wall on your right is a yz plane. The wall on your left is a xz plane. And the floor is the xy plane. In the same manner, there are seven other rooms, three more on top and four more on the bottom. If you imagine this three dimensional coordinate system representing a two story building, there will be four rooms on top and four rooms on the bottom, each room sharing a common corner called the origin.